Hello everybody, my name of course is Cashy Cans and welcome back to a brand new Crunker video and oh baby, today is an amazing day because Crunker Season 5 has just dropped. There is so many different things in this season, there is no way I could cover it all in even one video alone. So I'm going to be making multiple videos over the next few days about all the different things that you guys could be getting up to in Season 5. We have new progression systems, we have 5 new unobtainables, we have raids, but today we're going to be talking about how to craft these new rare contraband skins and it's a little complicated so make sure you watch the video to the very end so that you understand everything the items that you have to get you have to get from different places so you're not going to want to miss any of it if you haven't already subscribed to the channel then consider doing so because i'm going to be pumping out so much crunker content now season five is out i'm so excited to be bringing you guys all this content while i'm at it why not follow my twitch twitch.tv forward slash cashy i'm gonna be streaming so many hours every day over there as well i'm gonna be grinding raids and doing all of the challenges but the reason you came to the video was to find out how to craft these brand new skins So many of you have probably worked your way over to the crafting page saw the brand new shiny Helios and the, the Quasar the prism and the makeshift and you thought to yourself Oh my god, I want those. How do I get those? So you go to YouTube and you type in how to craft brand new skins and well ladies and gentlemen You have found your way here today. I'm gonna be teaching you how to unlock all of the brand new skins that can be crafted every single one there is not a single one that i won't mention in this video or it won't be blindingly obvious by the end of the video first thing you need to understand is there are a lot of different items that you can use to craft in crunker now one of the rarest ones and one of the ones that you're going to need for a lot of the high tier contras is uranium for example if you want this helios m2 which i really really want especially as i've been playing rev so much you are going to need five uranium you're probably thinking to yourself well kashi that's cool but how do i get uranium well it's actually fairly simple every time you drop a nuke in grunker there's a chance that the game will drop you some uranium and it's that simple so if you really want a certain skin that you need uranium for you better get on your nuke grind now another very common and very very rare item that you are gonna need to be able to craft a lot of these brand new Contra skins is Soul Shards. Soul Shards are debatably even rarer than Uranium as I've seen absolutely nobody in my games get them so far. And the way that you get them is simply by playing the brand new raid event. If you beat the raid event, then you have a, a chance at getting a random drop. You can get any of the raid items from the drop or you can get Soul Shards. Soul Shards aren't the only craftable item you can get from the brand new raids though as well as crystals, which are basically the relic version of soul shards, which you could also have a chance to drop while you're playing these raid events. There's two bosses in the raid, and each boss you beat, you have a chance of getting one of these drops. I'm most likely going to be releasing a raid tutorial guide very, very soon, covering everything you need to know about raids, every single spot in the map, but that's not what you came here for. Now, you are going to see a lot of different other materials. You're going to see things like cloth, wood, spark plugs, tin cans, gunpowder and this is way too confusing to somebody that's just clicked on and how how on earth you're going to obtain any of these items to craft what you want for example for the knife you need five circuit boards 25 wires 25 wires well kashi how am i going to get 25 wires well let me explain so when you're slide hopping around the map you may notice very small pickups. These pickups can give you anything, but some of them are map dependent. A lot of the time, they're gonna give you a very small amount of junk. You're probably wondering what junk is, but we'll get into that in a second. But dependent on the map, you can get a different item. So if there's a certain thing that you wanna hunt for, say you wanna hunt for tin cans, because one of the skins that you want, you need 10 tin cans. Well, if you look around the vending machines on Kanji, that's where you're gonna find the tin cans. If you slide hop around lumber, that's where you're gonna find the wood. There's also things like spark plugs, mufflers, cloth, gunpowder, and circuit boards, which are all different map dependent drops. Some of these are relic, and as the season has not even been out an entire day, I've not been able to get footage of me getting every single craftable item. But if I find out that there are more that are map dependent, then I'll leave it in the pinned comment below. So what I would do if I was you, is I would try to figure out what item you wanna go for, and then figure out what materials do you need to craft that item and then basically non-stop play that map and pick up every single drop that you can find that would be my advice now with every single item you craft you're going to need junk 
and you're gonna need a lot of it. There is a brand new thing you can buy in the shop called the Back to School Collection, which will give you five junk and one uranium, which could really help you get started if you've just picked up the game again from season five. It also gives you a little bit of KR, but for most items that you're gonna wanna craft that are conjuring up, you're gonna need at least 50 junk. Now, you can play the game and slide up around the map just like the other materials that you can get and pick up 0.01 junk, which is really, really not the most effective way to do it. In my opinion, the best way to get junk in the game is to play challenges because a lot, a lot, a lot of the new challenges that they've added, and I mean a lot because they've added a lot of challenges, will give you junk for beating them. Some of them are really, really difficult and they'll pay you a lot. Some aren't so hard and the more casual player could definitely do with a day of dedication. And there is a third and final way that you can get junk in this game. As we all know, we've been able to quick sell our skins in Krunker. Well now, you can disassemble your skins in Krunker. If you disassemble a contraband, it will give you five junk, which doesn't really seem like a lot, but considering the really, really slow rate at, that junk seems to be obtainable right now, it might be a good way that you could consider getting junk. So, uranium, soul shards, materials, crystals, all of these things we've gone over, so hopefully you're keeping up to speed so far. I want to also mention that I believe all of these items are tradable and you can buy straight off the market. You can buy crystals off the market right now for 3,500 KR. You can trade mufflers, spark plugs, wood and every other material. So if you don't want to go through the grind and you just want to pay the price, then I'm sure that you can find somebody with the items that you need. But you are still going to need junk to do the craft. Now, the last thing I want to go over is the items that are spinnable. That you need now these are pretty self-explanatory you can get things like the letters n u k e and if you pair that up with five uranium and 60 junk you can get a nuclear back item which honestly is an absolute steal and it's probably the most worthwhile item that i've seen so far that you can craft or if you look at this soul fiend you see that you're going to need a backpack and 25 cloth as well as shards be able to craft this. So there are a lot of items that are craftable that you're going to need new tradable items to get. Whether you get them through trading or through spinning is up to you. I think one of the most interesting ones is the cat girl. You need 69 junk, crunket 1, crunket 2 and crunket 3 and you get this cat girl pistol. So hopefully this video has been informative. If there was a single thing in this video that you did not know then make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Don't forget, as soon as I get the info on what maps have what materials, I'll be leaving a pinned comment down below, so go check right now to see if it's there. Thank you so much for watching till the end of the video. Check out my other Crunker video here, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.